Hi, my name is Chris, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you a great place to play cribbage online 24-7 and with millions of other players. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get to the website, how to si sign up for an account, how to log into your account, and what the interface looks like of the site and help, help you get around it a little bit faster. So here we go. The first thing you do is you go to google.com and you type in eCribbage, then hit enter. This is what you'll see when you type in eCribbage in the search window bar. Click that first link and that will send you directly to eCribbage's website. This page will come up after you click on that first link on Google. Now this is eCribbage's home page. Here you can see all the variations of cribbage uh, that are offered at the site. You can like it on Facebook. You can read about becoming a member. Um, at the top here you have all these uh, command buttons where you can buy stuff off the website. You can read the newsletter and all this different stuff. But all I'm focusing on right now is how to sign up for an account and how to log in. So when you first get in there, you click click here to log in and that will t take you to the next page. The page you're seeing right here is the login page. If you already have an account and a password, uh, you can enter all that and click login and start playing right away. But if you don't, you can click on the link that says create one now and start creating your uh, username from there. Here's the part of where you uh, can make your username. All you have to worry about are the top fields on the top of the page. You make your screen name, you enter a valid email address, you create a password, and then you confirm that password. And then you can worry about those two optional boxes down at the bottom um, if you would like to. If not, that's totally up to you. And then just click sign up and you'll be ready to go in a couple minutes. Now, now after you signed up for an account, it'll ask you to go to your email and uh, activate your account. Uh, you'll get a email from eCribbage sending you a link to activate your account. Just simply click that. That'll take you to back to eCribbage and it'll say you've activated your account. Now all you need to, need to do is go ahead and sign in with your information. And then this will be the next page you will see when you sign in. It'll show you your screen name, your avatar, and your uh, membership status. For new players, you'll have a you'll have a silver pro member icon. Uh, that means you have 30 days within your 30 days um, to see what the membership is like. You'll get some audios and some uh, some other features as such. And within those 30 days, um, you can either don't worry about the membership or you can pay money for the membership. Um, and the membership cost is not that much for what you get in the package. Um, and as I said, you do not have to have a membership, but the membership is a nice perk for being on the site. Now down here is where you actually can get into the game. Um, you have to have uh, some sort of Java program. Uh, eCribbage runs on Java. If you don't already have Java installed on your computer or your laptop, it'll ask you to download it, and then you just follow the instructions there. And then uh, once you have Java downloaded, you'll be able to play on the site. So once you click Play Now, it'll send you to the next screen, and that's where all the fun comes in. After clicking play now, you'll be sent to a series of screens uh, called the lounge screens. The first one you're, sh you're seeing right here is the castle. Um, castle is one of the public open lounges that everybody in the site can play in. Um, also you have the courtyard. Those are the two main open playing areas. Once a, once a lounge is full, 55 players, then you'll scroll through the lounges with this, these buttons on the sides here to see where you can come in. 
So after you chose a lounge to enter, click the Enter Lounge button and you'll be sent to that lounge's main screen. Welcome to the castle. I know this looks confusing and convoluted, but it's not. Um, what you have here is up in the top, you have a, a menu bar where you can set games, you can look at your stats, you can write on the wall and things like that. And in the center bottom portion, you have the tables list where it shows all the games that are being played with a green playing uh, text and there's one game that is in red that says waiting. That means one player is waiting for somebody else to join their game. Uh, down below the tables list, you have the chat area. It shows you the chat box, and then you have your dialog box. You have a smiley face where you can put emoticons and symbols into the chat and send them into the chat. Right alongside that, you have a change text color option where you can change your text color for when you're typing to other players. <clears throat> One of the biggest features is the players list off here on the right hand side. This shows you the status of other players and if they're in games, if they're waiting for games, if they're sleeping, and there are different symbols that go along with their players' names and I'll talk about that probably in a late, later portion. But for right now, let's just skip all that. And let's get right into actually how to set up a table and what you have to do for that. Setting up a game table is quite simple. All you need to do is scroll over the game menu in the main menu bar, find the start new game option, scroll over that, and then scroll over um, traditional cribbage, and then this third option will show up. Um, and let's say we're going to play with humans. So you click play with humans and then this screen will show up and this is how you actually set up the table. You decide if you wanted a public game where people can view it and watch or you can make it private. Uh, de determining what kind of cribbage you want to play like cribbage with jokers, low ball cribbage and things like that. How many players are playing uh, cribbage can, e cribbage actually can fit up to four players on teams at the most. So just make those kind of decisions here. And then farther down, you have um, e either if you wanted a rated game or not a rated game. Once you decided all your options, then just click start and your open game will appear on the games list. After doing all the options for your table, your table will become open for other players to join depending on how you set it up. After some time passes, people will start asking you to join their game. You'll see this dialog box come up. You can either accept or deny that player. Um, and after all the spots of your game are filled, you'll be brought to this screen, which is just a pre-game pre screen. And to finally get out of that screen, you just click it once and you'll be sent directly to your game. On behalf of everybody here at eCribbage, we'd like to thank you for watching this entire video. Um, and hopefully it has helped you understand eCribbage a little bit more. So hopefully we see you in the near future at eCribbage.com.